Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Miami, Florida with Mr. Tramp Stamp Frauditor himself, Joey Surreal Camera, as he, well, gets arrested at a post office uh, for causing a disturbance, which, according to the arrest report, included threatening to slap one of the patrons while he was there. Joey, you just can't get away with that kind of stuff and expect people not to call the police. I mean, come on now. I know you are not that bright, but still have a little bit of common sense. So while Joey Surreal finds his common damn sense, we can uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And we made contact already, guys. For recording in the sidewalk, people's vehicles. This is where we're at. So he's gotten the post of police, so we're gonna go and wait for them inside, huh? Shall we? poster seven here well even if you find poster seven you're just gonna uh cherry pick the whole damn thing you're only gonna read the first part of the paragraph and completely ignore the second half of the paragraph that pretty much tells you you need permission to film in the place anyway so i mean but just carry on let's go and see your arrest i mean it is so gratifying to see you in handcuffs every single time Okay, folks, you see that spot in line right there? Well, that's where this whole video takes place. I didn't even have time to reach up to the counter, even though probably they wouldn't have not served me after seeing this. Let's keep watching. Uh, no, Joey. Uh, your whole purpose to, was to come in here and uh, wait for the cops because somebody else had already called the police out there. So quit trying to lie to your audience. Oh, wait, never mind. You're a damn frauditor, and uh, lying is one of the rules of being a frauditor. So please continue on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Let me see poster seven. Let me check it out in a little bit. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know your you know your rules and regulations here in this property. Yeah, my, it's my right to do this. Swing and a miss, Mr. Tramp Stamp Dumbass. Uh, if you would actually read Poster 7 and you would see the end of this paragraph, it would basically say you need the permission of the postmaster to be able to film inside of a post office. So why don't you go try frauding that FBI building again? Oh, wait, they scared you off. You ran away with the, your tail tucked between your legs, didn't you? Ran away like a scared little girl. Who are you? Don't cause, I don't want to cause a disturbance. Okay, then you can get out. I'm not getting out. Okay. okay. What's your name? My name is Jasmine Stafford. Jasmine's my right to do this. Federal building. It's a federal building. You know, you know, the, you know your poster seven? Listen to what I'm telling you. Just listen. All right, then I'm not listening to you either. Get back to work. Get back to work. You're rude, dude. You're rude. I'm recording getting me a stamp. I, I'm allowed to do this. I'm working on a story in your post office. And you're causing a disturbance. Relax, relax. The camera don't hurt people. Relax. There's cameras everywhere here. I'm not getting removed. Guarantee you I'm not getting removed. Your poster seven, your rules and regulations states that I can record here. All right? Along with the First Amendment. Along with the First Amendment's freedom. If you don't like it, work in the private sector. But, douche canoe, what about the frauditors that do go into 
private sector jobs and annoy people there. I mean, there's nowhere you can't go without one of your dumbass kind ending up there. I mean, you've been frauding to just about everything under the sun. I'm surprised you haven't, uh, frauded at a, a funeral home yet. But then again, I think that would be crossing the line with uh, some of you guys. But then, I would love to see you try it. Yeah, right. Work in a private sector. You guys are gonna give me views now, just for acting like fools. Yes. Hey, views. Okay, folks. You see this Karen, right here on the right, who's about to be Karen. I want you to pay attention to what I tell her on the video, and what she tells me as well, because she's part and she's in the police report. Keep watching. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. So professional. What's up, paper face? Actually, That's crazy. Leave her alone. I'm not leaving her. Dead Lemus, who who interacted with who first, ma'am? I know. But okay then. Just this is job. my right to film my interactions with the government. It's their job. Okay, it's this is my job. But you're giving them a hard time. No, I'm not. They're giving and you're themselves. Me they're giving feel uncomfortable. Them. Okay, well then don't don't interact with me. Well, just fucking leave and come. I'm not leaving nowhere. Attitude. No. Well, when the police come, I'm gonna tell them you're a dick. All right, I'm gonna tell them you're an ass. I'm not ass. I'm trying to tell you. I didn't even interact with you. I didn't come here for you guys. Dude. Get a life. No, you get a life. Get a, it looks like it's, it looks like it's miserable. Wow. All right. Don't mess with me, dude. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Going viral on TikTok and all the platforms. So I can make fools. Uh, how many times have you been arrested in your lifetime, Joey? How many disturbances have you caused? How much trouble have you caused in your lifetime? I mean, this is not a rhetorical question. I am asking this question because. You appear to be the one acting like a complete fool in this uh, video right here. Nobody else is because they were having a good day until you decided to walk in and cause some trouble. I mean, it's as plain as the nose on your face. So yes, yeah, so are you? What's wrong with recording though? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You know the. Rules. There's no rules. The rules is my freedom and my rights oh, to film in government buildings and interact with anything with the government. I can record it. So get a life, girl. Karen. Let me see if you're going to refuse service on me if you are filing a complaint. I just want a stamp. That's it. I'll be out your hair. People that are scared of cameras are suspicious. They're up to something. They're cheating on their spouse. They're doing something they're not supposed to at work. All right? That's quite a blanket assumption right there. Do you have anything to back it up with? I mean, inquiring minds really want to see the citations of your scientific evidence for this kind of thing. I mean, prove it to us. See, right now you guys are acting suspicious. Not leaving. I'm waiting for the police so they can educate y'all on public photography. Look how professional this is. Look how she serves the public, dude. With a paper in her face. What are you ashamed of? I'm ashamed of you. Yeah, of course, bro. You should be ashamed of my camera. Okay, here they come, folks. They showed up. I'm telling you. Maybe I should say in a matter of two minutes after the supervisor made the call. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you in the past or has... Call the cops when you need them and need them there right away. Have they ever showed up that quick for you? They like bum rushed in like if I was robbing a bank or something, to be honest. Oh, wrong again, dude. You had an interaction with one of the postal workers outside who said he was going to call the police. And, uh, well, you said you were going to wait for the police inside the post office. So, dude, uh, quit lying to your audience about everything. Oh, wait, I forgot once again. You're a damn frauditor who just can't help but lie to his audience. How you doing? Yeah, Nothing's yeah. going on. You guys rush over here. I'm just taking a, getting a stamp. I'm recording and they're having a meltdown. That's it. You're getting a stamp? That's what? it. What do you mean for what? What's up, Dustin? Dustin, tell them what's up. I don't know what's going on. That's they called you guys for recording in public. What's your name and badge number? Officer Collins, 408. What's your name and badge number? 447. What's your name and badge number? You know this, this is a federal building? 
Right. Oh, you know I'm allowed to film here, right? Nobody said you're not to film. Oh, I'm just letting you know. You guys are rushing it. You're intimidating me. It's not going to happen. We're not intimidating. Uh, it looks like it. I'm not going outside. I'm not going outside. Tell them what's up. I want my you stamp. Huh? You have an ID. <laughs> are you serious? Nah, did I commit a crime? I have an ID. I just want to identify yourself. I, I have an ID. Okay, let okay. me see your ID. I'm not, let me see your ID. Let me see your, let me see your ID. ID. I don't got to identify nothing. Listen, I come with no ill will. I'm not giving you ID. Okay. I don't care what you do. If you want to take me in right now, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. You want to do it? Yes. Okay. You're going to arrest for a seating. Do not run. For a well now, stupid is as stupid it does. And Joey, you have to be one of the dumbest frauditors out there. I mean, you keep getting yourself arrested and in these situations kind of makes me wonder, uh, how, how long is it going to be before you actually do something big and you get put away for years? I mean, we're all just waiting for that little story to happen at any damn time. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.